I've been coming here to San Francisco since about 1996 or so, and this has always been one of my favorite American cities. Forget politics. I love its architecture, its landscape, the rich history of this place. But what I've seen happening to San Francisco, especially just over the last few years, I mean, it's nothing short of heartbreaking. How long would it take me to get cracked? Under a minute. How about heroin? Same thing. Fentanyl? Same. Easy to get. Very easy to get. Less than two years ago, I was right here in the Tenderloin District here in San Francisco. It's an open-air drug market. We decided to come back to see whether things have improved or gotten worse. Within the past week, uh, the Tenderloin had three shootings. Uh, one resulted in a homicide. One resulted in another person being shot and another resulted in a car being shot up. So, just in this district? Yeah, just in this district. Lieutenant Tracy McRae has been with the San Francisco Police Department for nearly 30 years after spending 11 in the Army. This is ground zero here in the Tenderloin District for hardcore drug addicts in the area, correct? Right. I mean, you just take a look around and you see people addicted to fentanyl, crystal meth, you know, heroin. You got your crack cocaine still but you got your garden variety of all the type of drugs. And this is where you're going to find people who are on all of these different drugs, just walking around. You're going to go down the street and you're going to see someone who's shooting up, right? Right in, 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 broad, right daylight. in broad daylight. While it's tempting to turn your heads away from the human sadness and suffering on these streets, I decided to speak firsthand with those in the grips of addiction. How old are you? I'm 38 years old. I have family. I have a husband and I have children. You got to get clean, man. Yeah. Got to get clean. I have to get clean. Um, but um, since I've been on the street, because um, that's when I just barely started using fentanyl. Uh, Where I are you actually, getting the fentanyl? I buy it from off the street from people. But to me, fentanyl has been uh, like like something that's helping keeping me alive. It helps me not think about some of the trauma that I've been through. When I don't get it, like, I like can't breathe sometimes or I have anxiety really bad. But when I have it, like, I immediately calm down. I immediately calm down. Um, okay. The human need is great. After seeing this firsthand, it's going to take a lot more police and a lot more creative thinking to get this situation cleaned up. How many police officers in the city? Currently, right now, 580. You're down 580. 580. 580 what, what would a fully staffed fully police staffed. force be able to do about, you know, about this poor guy? I mean, a fully staffed police force uh, could be out here connecting with people, trying to get them connected to services, but we need those partners out here too, yeah. right? So that's, that's the thing. They all say we get all this money, this billion dollar organization, we get all this money, but where do you see the boots on the ground from the community organizations out here trying to help that man, trying to help that man across the street, trying to help that lady in the doorway, trying to help that man right in a blanket? Where are they? See, that, that's my problem. They have to be off they? the street. So your point is, off the streets, your choice is jail or treatment. That's it. That's it. Those are the only two choices you get. And right now, what happens? You get none of that. You get to stay out here and do as you much drugs. You can just live out here, do as much and, drugs as you yeah, want. Yeah, because uh, the injunction about clearing tents and homeless camp campments. So you can't clear it can't, out. Can't do that. No, right? Is that a but they want us to. Do, they want us to, but we can't do it by law, right? A judge says no unless you can provide a bed for every person you see out here. And my whole thing is, when did that fall on us? That's that's not my issue. Right? Like, I get, I am my brother's keeper, but damn, how much keeping does one person have to do for another adult who makes these choices? That's the other thing here nobody ever talks about. These are adults who are making choices to be out here but to do this. Lieutenant McRae knows all too well the dangers of having a department stretch too thin as an officer and even herself at one time as a victim of crime. The police are not the solution. We can't be the only solution. And until people want to make these hard decisions, until people know, then this will continue to happen.
you will see this and you'll come back in two years and it'll be much worse. In 2020, Mayor London Breed cut $120 million from police and sheriff departments in the city, directing it to address disparities in the black community. Three years later, she wants to give more money and even called the National Guard in to deal with the drug issue. No, it actually means it's a division of their unit, their intelligence unit, helping, you know, gather information to try and stem the flow of where these drugs are, identifying, uh -huh. you know, but it's not boots on the ground. There's no tank uh -huh. rolling through this intersection or anywhere in the Tenderloin, right? That's not what it is. It's the CHP coming and helping maybe doing traffic stops because maybe if they do a traffic stop, they might find someone who does have drugs and stop that from bring, coming into the community. But it doesn't mean by any stretch of the imagination that you will see green fatigues marching up and down these but streets. Will but will it help clean this up at all? Is this going to be cleaned up when you have? No. No? No. Do you have hope for this city? I mean, I have hope, but it's going to be a, a, a long-term kind of hope project. So we're talking maybe five years, 10 years down the road to recover, right? San Francisco bounced back. It always has. But this one is going to be a little bit tougher to bounce back from. Uh, heartbreaking. Uh, I'm going to be thinking about a lot of those individuals I saw on the streets today. And but for the grace of God, go any of us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.